Hello everyone, this is Sean. Today I'll be doing a video on uh, everything about Park Riveria. This is uh, a new project at District 5. As you can see from here, I'm the developer appointed agent. Should you, should you need any information such as latest prices, what are units available, floor plans, brochures, etc. etc. Do give me a call at 92394968. I will send you the data immediately. Okay, if let's say you want to follow a dedicated Facebook page just only on Park Riveria, you can go and like my page over here. You can see the link. Okay, tinyurl.com slash park dash Riveria dot review. Okay, for today, I'll be doing a stack analysis with floor plans just only for four bedrooms. If you're interested in three bedrooms, two bedrooms or one bedrooms, you can actually wait for a while because I'll be doing the videos at a later time. But if, let's say you can't wait, give me a call, I'll send you the floor plan. In fact, I'm okay to discuss with you what are the stacks that are actually good to buy. So, as mentioned, stack analysis of floor plans, this is basically to help buyers to find out which stack is actually good to buy and which stacks are, that have good facing. Okay, without further ado, let us proceed. This is the site plan for Park Riveria. If you're looking at four bedrooms, you will be at stack 1, stack 12, stack 11, stack 22. All these stacks are all of the corner units. Okay? So for stack 1 and 12, you'll be facing north direction uh, and it's a non pool view. You'll be looking at facilities and greeneries. Okay? For stack 11 and stack 22, you'll be looking at the swimming pool view. Okay? In fact, it is looking at the southern direction. If you're looking at stacks that is nearer to the main entrance, you can actually consider stack 12 or 22. If you're looking at side gate, you can actually consider stack 1 and 11. Okay, without further ado, let me proceed towards individual stack analysis. For 4 bedrooms, stack 1 and 12, you can see the side plan over here. This is stack 1, this is stack 12, the crosses as indicated. Okay, for stack 1 and 12, it starts from level 5. And from level 5, the size is 1195 square feet. Why level 5? Is because uh, level 4 downwards are all the multi-story car park. Okay? For level 5, what's the difference with other typical units? You have the private enclosed space. For level 5, you have a gate that you can access the facilities outside. Okay? This is as if it is you're staying on the ground floor. Then for the floor plan itself, Master bedroom, bedroom 2, bedroom 3, and the private enclosed space are all facing the facilities and greeneries. For bedroom 4, you may not have any good facing or good scenery to view. Okay, even though they have a very small window over here. And then for 4 bedrooms, you only have 2 bathrooms. Master bedroom have their own and suite bathroom. While Bedroom 2, Bedroom 3, Bedroom 4, you only get to share Bathroom 2. Okay, I would say this is a minor setback. In fact, I would hope they have another one bathroom. But for this case, you only have two. Um, for kitchen, it is an enclosed kitchen. The good thing is that you also have a storeroom and a bathroom. So if you have a domestic helper, uh, they can have their own bathroom over here. But if you are thinking of putting them here to stay, I would say it would not be a good idea because ventilation wise may not be that good. Okay, this is my uh, assumption. Okay, this is for level 5, the size is 1195 square feet. Uh, 111 square meter for stack 1 and 12. We are still at stack 1 and 12, but this is for level 6 to 35. Uh, if you look at the size over here, it's 1152 square feet. Because instead of a private enclosed space, you have a smaller balcony. While the rest of the layout is generally the same. Size is 1152 and 1195 for level 5. You can see the difference. Okay. Next is for 36, level 36, which is also still at stack 1 and 12. The main difference, uh, the size is 1679 square feet. Uh, you, you will think that the size is generally bigger, but it's actually the same. Because the reason why is that you have a higher ceiling. Which means you, you will feel much more spacious. For master bedroom, 
bedroom two, bedroom three, and living and dining area over here. This four areas you have a higher ceiling, which is add up together will be about 526 square feet. Void area, which is inclusive inside your 1,679 square feet over here. While generally the size and layout is still the same, no change. Okay? For stack 11 and 22, this one is the one that I mentioned will be facing the swimming pool uh, facilities and it's towards the direction of south. Layout is also generally the same but it starts from level 1. The size is 1227 square feet for level 1 because you have a private enclosed space which also have a gate that can access the swimming pool. Okay, This is typically the ground floor in a way. Layout is generally the same, two bathrooms difference is that you have a higher ceiling okay for level 2 to 35 same layout but no high ceiling you can see the size over here it's 1184 square feet level 2 to 35 same facing looking at swimming pool direction okay for level 36 main difference also higher ceiling if you see the void area at bedroom 3 bedroom 2 master bedroom and the living area you have a higher ceiling which is about 526 square feet it's not because of the size it's because of the higher ceiling if you are looking at higher ceiling you can actually consider level 36 and level 1 okay so summary uh, if you're looking at swimming pool view you can consider stack 11 and 22 if you prefer a quiet facing you can actually look at stack 1 and 12 the layout generally I would say no odd shape so the space wise is quite good kitchen wise is enclosed kitchen the minor setback will be only two bathrooms. So the rest of the remaining common bedrooms will be sharing just one bathroom. Whereas uh, for master bedroom, living room and two common bedrooms, you will have a higher ceiling which is at level 36 and level 1. And for four bedrooms, it is generally of corner units. Okay, let me go back to the site plan. Maybe some highlights to take note. If you can see from here, it is generally of north-south direction. Uh, you have a west-facing and uh, east facing you can see the suns over here uh, you will, for those that is facing the east direction you will have uh, uh, you you be encountering sunrise while for the west facing you'll be encountering the uh, the the, the uh, sundown okay so if let's say you are staying at stack 1 and 11 right you'll be experiencing some afternoon sun which is generally hotter around this area this corner units over here so if let's say uh, based on preference, I would say if you're looking at four bedrooms, the, the stacks that you should consider should be stack 12 and 22 because you won't be experiencing any west sun and you also won't be experiencing any east sun. In fact, stack 12 and 22, you only have slight west sun that is coming from this direction and east sun that's coming from this direction, but it's only quite minor. But for stack 111, you'll be bearing the full brunt over here, especially at this uh, wall it will be quite hot during the the west sun timing okay so basically i'm done for the stack analysis for four bedrooms thank you for watching uh it would be greatly appreciated if you could like and share my video or subscribe to my channel because i'll be uh, making more videos on uh, bedroom trees four and uh, oh, sorry bedroom trees two and one in fact i'll be making more analysis for other projects as well which are mar currently marketing if let's say you are really keen on Park Rivera you can actually go and like my Facebook page which I just mentioned before you can actually type the URL over here uh, lastly if let's say you are not only looking at Park Rivera you're also interested in other projects I have ac ac I'm actually marketing quite a few projects in Singapore so you can actually go and like my Facebook page which is called the Starby SG condo basically this page comprises of uh, promotions latest update uh, what are the price what are the latest prices for some of the projects that are marketing so this one will be quite useful if you are looking at uh, quite a few projects in Singapore and you can't decide which one to buy okay last uh, lastly if let's say you really need more information you can just call me or um, just whatsapp me at this number 9239496 I'll be more than happy to discuss with you what are the projects that you that will suit your preferences okay Basically, I'm done with my video. Thank you for watching again and have a nice day. Goodbye.